wants, Ebenezer. I want much of you. Ask me not who I am, but who I was. In life, I was your partner, Jacob Marley. <laughs> you don't believe in me. Why do you doubt your senses? What evidence of my reality would you have beyond that of your senses? Oh, man of the worldly mind, do you believe in me or not? It is required of every man that the spirit within him should walk abroad among his fellow men and travel far and wide. And if that spirit goes not forth in life, it is condemned to do so after death. It is doomed to wander about the world, woe is me, and witness what it cannot share, but might have shared on earth and turned to happiness. I wear the chains I forged in life. I made them link by link and yard by yard. I girded them on of my own free will. And by my own free will I wore it. Is its pattern strange to you? Or would you know the weight and length of it by the strong coil you bear yourself? <laughs> yes, yours was full as heavy and as long as this seven Christmas Eves ago, and you have labored on it since. It is a ponderous chain. Uh, I have no comfort to give you. That comes from other regions, Ebenezer Scrooge, and is conveyed by other ministers to other kinds of men. Nor can I tell you all that I would. But very little more is permitted me. I cannot stay, I cannot rest, I cannot linger anywhere. My spirit never walked outside our counting house. Mark me, in life, my spirit never roved beyond the narrow limits of our money-changing hole. Now, weary journeys lie before me. The whole time, no rest, no peace, incessant torture of remorse. Oh, captive, bound in double iron, not to know that incessant labor of immortal creatures, for this earth was pass into eternity before the good to which it is susceptible is all developed. Not to know that any Christian spirit working kindly in its little sphere, whatever that may be, will find its mortal life too short for its vast means of usefulness. Not to know that no space of regrets can make amends for one life's opportunities misused. Yet such was I, such was I. <laughs> business, well, mankind was my business. The common welfare was my business. Charity, mercy, forbearance, benevolence were all my business. The dealings of my trade were but a drop of water in the comprehensive ocean of my business. It is at this time of the rolling year I suffer most. Why did I walk through the crowds of fellow beings with my eyes turned down and never raise them to the blessed star which led the wise men to a poor abode? Were there no poor homes to which its light would have conducted me? Hear me, my time is nearly gone. How it is I come to appear before you in a shape that you can see I may not tell. I have sat invisible beside you for many and many a day. It is no small part of my penance. I have come tonight to warn you that you have yet a chance and a hope of escaping my fate. A chance and a hope of my procuring, Ebenezer. You will be haunted by three spirits. Without their visit, you cannot hope to shun the path I tread. Expect the first tonight when the bell tolls one. 
Expect the second, the next night, at the same hour. The third, the next night, when the last stroke of twelve has ceased to vibrate. Look to see me no more. And look that, for your own sake, you remember what has passed between us. Welcome to Mardi Gras. In life, I was your partner. In life, I was your partner. Jake, oh, <laughs> that's pretty damn cool.